Since becoming a roller coaster enthusiast in the early 2000s, I don't think I've ever seen a project that's garnered as much buzz and publicity as the reimagining of Cedar Point's Top Thrill Dragster. And with all the attention, it's been a huge win for Cedar Point as they've been getting a ton of free marketing from roller coaster nerds like me, my friends Brandon from Theme Park Predictions and Josh from Station Weight, as well as many others. Today I'm here to add to the fire and present a new piece of information regarding the ride's transformation that may confirm some of the rumors or ideas centered around the new experience. And not to toot my own horn, but but I would just like to point out that the information I've reported thus far about Dragster has been pretty spot on. My last video on Dragster, uploaded on February 15th of this year, broke news that the ride would receive a layout extension through some form of a vertical spike placed near Iron Dragon. And then shortly afterwards, massive foundations were created in the Iron Dragon Lagoon that aligned perfectly for a spike. And more recently, gigantic support columns have begun arriving at the park that will most likely sit atop these new foundations. I also reported in 2022 that Dragster would shockingly be reimagined by by Zamperla, and now evidence is pointing to this being true. My point being that the information I present to you does stem from actual sources. So whether you choose to believe me or claim the information I present is cap, that is on you. But I'm telling you that anything I present about Dragster comes from a place of legitimacy. In Cedar Point's 2022 Christmas video, they tease the following secret code, hashtag CP2024PHPNR. And just now on July 11th, the park tweeted this construction photo as crews to place white track back onto the brake run with a shortened code hashtag CP24PHP. While I've received a tidbit that this shortened code indeed translates to Cedar Point 2024, Project High Point. For one, Project High Point is obviously referencing a high point in the park, which would allude to Top Thrill Dragster being that it's the park's tallest roller coaster at 420 feet. But there has to be more to this as Cedar Point has made it clear on several occasions that Top Thrill Dragster is being reimagined. And here they are tweeting about the ride with the shortened code. I'd imagine that Project High Point is a direct reference to the vertical spike being added to Top Thrill Dragster, and that the new element would become Dragster's new high point. Oddly enough, the N and R from the original code were not included in Cedar Point's latest tweet. I'm unsure what the N and R stand for, but I'd imagine either new record or new ride, but most likely new record, which I'd guess originally implied that the reimagined Dragster would break some sort of roller coaster height record, either in the world or maybe just in North America. So who knows, maybe we could actually see a vertical spike that exceeds the 456 foot height of King Nakat's Six Flags Great Adventure. Maybe the spike will be 500 feet tall, or who knows, maybe even taller. If the N and R did imply a new height record, doing so with the vertical spike does seem weird, as Cedar Point in prior years did not recognize a spike as the world's tallest roller coaster in two notable occasions. That would be when Cedar Point opened the 205 foot tall Magnum XL200 in 1989 as the world's tallest roller coaster, while Fuji Q Highland had been operating Moonsault Scramble since 1983, and it featured a spike at a height of 220. 29 feet, or when Cedar Point opened the 310 foot tall Millennium Force in 2000 as the world's tallest roller coaster, while Six Flags Magic Mountain had been operating Superman The Escape since 1997, which featured a vertical spike at 415 feet tall. In those days, the argument was that Moonsault Scramble and Superman The Escape were not full circuit roller coasters, and that the full train never reached the tallest point of their inclines, which I think is completely valid. So if Cedar Point were to claim some new record with the height of Dragster's vertical spike, it would have to execute in a way where all cars of the train rode far enough up the spike to exceed the height of King Naka Great Adventure. And even so, I'd assume the back cars of the train will always reach a higher height than the front cars since the train will most likely travel up the spike backwards. And then Falcon's flight at Six Flags Cadilla, which is expected to open in the next few years, will be a full circuit roller coaster with a max height of over 600 feet, with all cars of the train reaching this milestone. And the ride is already under construction. So if the new dragster were to break a height record with a vertical spike, how legitimate would it be, and for how long would it hold that record? Maybe with the park not including NNR in the teaser code, there is no longer a height record associated with the project. But either way, with the code meaning Project High Point, I think it's quite fair to say that the new vertical spike will at least exceed the height of the 420 foot tall top hat. Or Project High Point is just a wee joke in reference to the ride's meme-like height of 420, but probably not. I know there has been a lot of buzz about this occurring already, but with the meaning of the code established, the rumored height of the spike being 500 feet or more could be be an actual reality. Besides that, it would also appear that we will not be seeing another hill after the top hat. Construction crews
issues were seen placing track back onto the former brake run following the top hat, and the track is following the same profile as before, with brake fins starting just after the original finish sign. The ride also appears to sport a color scheme of white track and dark gray supports, but time will tell if red is splashed somewhere into the mix, as the clue provided by Cedar Point at Coaster Mania was red and gray. I'm also curious how that clue might tie into the ride's name, trains, theme, or logo. I'm sure Cedar Point will continue to supply teasers as the summer continues, and then hopefully on August 16th, 2023, which is National Roller Coaster Day, the park will make the official announcement, and that is just over a month away. With that, I will end today's video as the only new piece of information I have is that PHP in the park's code does in fact stand for Project High Point. This might confirm rumors that the ride's new spike will indeed be taller than the top hat, which is probably in the park's best interest from a marketing perspective. Be sure to comment down below your thoughts on this and also what you're thinking regarding the entire transformation. I'll be counting down the days until Cedar Point finally announces the ride. I'm sure whatever gets announced will be insanely epic. Alright, thanks for watching everyone and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.